So we've made it. The end of the season could be at any time now. And well, let me say, it's been quite a crazy season. In my opinion, this has literally been the best season on ECPE. Of course, I haven't played all the seasons, but I have played many of them, and by far, this is the best. It could be the fact that I co-owned a faction that is literally sitting at F top 1 right now, or it could be the fact that the game has gotten a lot more enjoyable recently, or it could be you guys, the people that watch these videos and play on the server. I think it's probably a mix of all of those, but I'm really proud of how our faction did this season. Now just for some stats for you guys, I've uploaded about 60 to 70 times on ECPE throughout this entire season, and throughout all of those videos I got just under 300,000 views. I mean just to think about the fact that 300,000 times someone clicked on a video of mine this season. Of course, I don't want to bore you guys too much with all these numbers and everything, so I think we should probably get into the video. Of course, before we start, if you guys do want to subscribe, it would greatly help me out. I will be trying my best to upload daily for as long as I can during the next season. It will be quite a grind, but I think it'll be worth it. Anyways, hopefully this is the start of a long series of daily uploads, and we're starting it off with a banger. Anyways, I hope you all do enjoy this video, and let's get started. Now to begin, I should probably tell you guys what has happened so far. I'm recording this on Tuesday, June 23rd right now. I'm not sure when the server restarts, but this video will be uploaded the moment the server restarts. But anyways, I need to explain what has happened so far. Now basically, I'll be giving you guys the complete history of our faction so far this season. Now from what I'm told, our faction, Kratos, was the first faction created on ECPE. Our first goal for the season was to be grinding STR, but it turned out to be much more of a challenge than we initially thought, and about a few weeks in, we kinda gave up. That left one other goal, and that was to get value top. And we knew it would take a lot of money, so we started grinding. Now I wasn't too active in the faction at this time. I'm not even sure who was leader. Xeon took over leader like one or two months ago, but this season's been around for three months. Now everyone in the faction started grinding. We were saving up for tier 4 IGs, and I'm not exactly sure when we got all of the tier 4 IGs we needed, but through the help of many people, we got to the maximum of tier 4 IGs that you need. That being 768 of them. Now this was quite a feat, and I think we were one of the first people on the server to have that. Of course, we weren't gonna stop there because we wanted more IGs. Now we did stop grinding for quite a little bit because we had everything that we needed, and I mean, during mid-season things just kinda got a little bit boring, but as of recently we continued grinding for more and more IGs, to the point where we got 4.5 extra stacks of tier 4 IGs. Now this isn't a lot, and it isn't a little. Right now we have all of our spawners placed in both of our factions, that being Kratos and Remy Boys. This puts us at F top 1 and F top 4. Now I'm not exactly sure how we rank above Grape Cartel considering we have the exact same amount placed, but every time we have placed spawners, we have yoinked F top from whoever had the maximum placed. Anyways, as it stands right now, Kratos has a really high chance of getting F top 1. Now, if all goes to plan, Remy boys hopefully will be able to yoink F top 3. Anyways, I've done enough rambling on, I want to show you guys our base. And no, I'm not talking about this base that has been completely griefed. We ended up unclaiming this base to move to a new base where no one would have a TP. Because I mean, let's be honest, so many people on the server already had a TP to this base. And if we placed a whole bunch of tier 4 IGs, chances are someone with phase hacks could find a way to get in. And they just yoink all of our spawners. Anyways, we ended up moving to a random spot on the map. It's not even near a world border. Hopefully... No one will be able to find our base till the end of the restart. But as for this base, I teleported a whole bunch of people there. We were just kind of messing around. We were placing custom TNT. And well, this is what happened to the base. But anyways, I'm sure you guys all wanted to see this base. So this is what we have so far. So quick update, I was actually in a call with some of the members from Booty Call. And for those of you not aware, they used to be on F-Top for like a week or so with all of their tier 4 IGs placed. That was until they got phased into multiple times. Now because of that, they're pretty much out of the race for F-Top, but they struck up a deal with us. They're giving us a lot of their really OP items in exchange for some of the rewards we get if we get F-Top on Remy Boys. Now that's why we have two boxes here. This one right here is claimed by Remy Boys, but then if I go over here, this is claimed by Kratos. Now I made sure that there's no blocks in the middle so no one can place like custom TNT and like break into the boxes. And from the looks of it, no one's gonna find this base. Now I'm not able to show you guys inside of Kratos because I'm technically not in the Kratos faction anymore, but inside of here we have like 16 layers of obsidian and if you can somehow get through all of those, then that that's where you have all of the max tier 4 IGs placed. Now that allows Kratos to be at F top 1 with the most amount of value, but we still have to get up Remy Boys. Now where I'm at is right inside of Remy Boys' base. I've created different layers, almost like a pancake, and inside of these we'll be placing our IGs. Just in case we get phased into, I made sure to leave like one layer of obsidian so they can't get to 
all of them. Not sure if it'll help or not, but hopefully it does. We also do have the same thing in Kratos. Now in my e-chest, these are all the spawners I've got so far. First of all, I've got five stacks of tier four IG spawners. I also have another six tier fours and then four more tier threes. Now next up, I have two stacks in 48 tier two IG spawners. And then the rest of these are just tier one. Now the first thing I wanna do is place all of these tier four IGs and see where that gets us. Now looking at F-top, we already have 365 million. That puts us at F-top four, but we still have a lot to do. To beat the faction in F-top three, we're gonna need to get another like 100 million. Now thankfully we have a lot more tier two spawners that we can place and tier ones when you run out of those but also when I look at my balance I have 70 million coins now that means I can upgrade some spawners I'll be upgrading as many of these tier 2 spawners up to tier 3 now to upgrade 11 of these it'll cost us 18 million so this will be quite expensive oh I guess we, we might as well do it right and I think we, we're literally out of money yeah I'll, I've got less than a million left but I do now have 41 tier 3 IG spawners and I still have all of these that are tier 2 I can place and well that's all of our tier 4 3 and 2 spawners now looking at F info we have 502 out of the 700 68 spawners placed and we now have a value of 518 million but that just leaves us with all these tier one spawners i'll go up to the top level and i'm gonna place all of these well i guess now we hope that 706 million is enough we've got a solid position in f top three and honestly i don't really care about going for f top two or anything the only people that stand in our way between f top one and two is this faction grape cartel and that's gonna be the focus of the next part of this video now the location I'm at is Grape Cartel's base. Now it has been a few days since I recorded the last clip, but we are still sitting at F-Top 1 and F-Top 3, and these are the only people that stand in the way of F-Top 2. Now look, I would try to raid these people, we did try a couple of times, but they kind of failed, but this base is near unraidable. Now you may think, all I have to do is just get the TNT down into this little box here, but that's not actually true. What they've done is they've placed their walls outside of the world border, so that when the TNT goes in, it'll break the blocks at the very edge, and well, even if their base is exposed there's no way you can get in now before i continue locked voice just gave me a 2.5 million gamble potion so well oh I, I really hope i win come on please no i mean he won but i lost it's fine you know what i'm, I'm gonna gamble another 2.5 mil why not come on let's let's please just hope this works Let's go! And I guess, yeah, we're just gonna gamble another. We'll, we'll go two more times, and we're gonna win both of them, and we're gonna get rich. Come on. No. Okay, it's fine. We'll make the money back from what we had, right? Oh, okay. Well, surely we've lost twice, but we, the odds would be against us if we lost again, right? Anyways, as I was saying, this base is literally impossible to raid. It would take way too long for us to raid it in. Honestly, I think the serve is going to be restarting any moment now. So it's been about a day. It is now June 26th. And from what I'm told, the server restart is tomorrow. So I ended up buying 350 million coins from God of Pop-Tarts. It didn't cost me too much. And this 350 mil will greatly help me out when it comes to upgrading spawners. It also does put me a bell top, which is pretty cool. But we're going to literally spend everything upgrading spawners now. And whoa, this this new update you can see the IGs and the spawners yo this this is actually kind of cool oh my my game all right let's hope let's hope try number two doesn't lag us out fully now if I'm not mistaken this entire layer here is tier four IGs so to get to the others we're gonna need to go up a layer and yeah these are where we get some tier threes now I will keep all the tier fours already stacked up here I mean there's really no point in like mining them or anything but I do want to keep these tier threes still now hopefully we don't get to the tier ones yet and okay we are on the tier ones so I'm gonna leave the tier ones up there and I think I should at least be able to upgrade all of these to tier four well I guess rest in peace 350 mil i mean it is going to a good cause though let's be honest oh 24 mil just to upgrade these so literally after upgrading those to tier 4 we already wasted 100 mil oh that's that's sad but we're not done there we still have to upgrade more we're getting a lot more tier 4 igs this is good we have only 80 million left okay that i was not expecting the money to go that quickly wow and i think that's probably yep i don't even have enough to upgrade these i'm short six million i can probably upgrade like eight of them i think and that puts us yep 700k rip but this whole area now is tier 4 IGs, which means I can put the other lower tier ones over here. Now looking at F-top value, I think we're at like 700 million, now we're at 730. Look, it's nothing too big, but it's nothing too little. Now just to see, I want to try mining up all of these tier 1 spawners. 
So we have 434 tier 4 IGs. That is almost 7 stacks. And we are now just placing the rest of our tier 1 IGs. Some of you may say I should have upgraded the tier 1s all to tier 2 so I get more value for the amount of money I put in it. But there is a reason why I did that and that's because we might be getting 5 more stacks to tier 4 IGs from Great Jet. We're still not sure yet and the season reset could be at any time now. But there is a small chance and that's why we did it. Anyways, I'm gonna block these up. We've, we've done what we needed to do. And well, we're higher up on F-top value. Anyways, that's about all there really is for the season finale. It has been a great season and at this point I am 99% sure we are ending with F top 1 and 3. In the comments I'll let you guys know if we actually made it to F top but I want to get this video out as soon as possible so I hope you guys all did enjoy this season. Season 19 will be a great season. We have got some really big plans. But with that said I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one.